Hey everybody, this is Greg Comparic of TechCrunch. We're here at Anki. These guys have raised $50 million to take the world of AI and robotics and kids' toys and smash them together. So they're launching their first product just next week, and we're going to take a look. All right, so we're here with Mark Pellatucci. He's a co-founder and chief product officer here at Anki. So thanks for joining us, Mark. You're very welcome. What are we looking at? So this is our first product, Anki Drive. It's a video game brought to life in the real world. It's uh, a racing game where the cars are extremely, extremely intelligent. So um, as you get better, they get better. And they're going to try and shoot you off the track. And uh, okay. they're going to race against you. And uh, they're going to evolve over time. OK. So can I just hit start here? Yep. All right. So we're racing against, I'm the yellow yeah. one, you're... I'm the gray car. Okay. And then the and red And the red is... car is controlled by uh, the AI. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty good. So you can use your left thumb to speed up and down. Okay. Or you can go left or right. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> so how do the cars know where they're at on the map? Yeah, so each car has a sensor on the bottom where it's detecting its position by looking down at the mat. And what looks black to you and me, the car actually sees through this black, and it detects codes that are part of the track. And okay. that's able, that, that allows it to determine its position. Okay. And the AI car, is, that, is the AI handled within the car itself? Is it being passed to the phone? How does that work? It's really both. So the car is able to read its position, and it communicates that back to the phone. And your phone right now is actually controlling. I'm controlling my car, but your phone is controlling the, the AI car. So really, the phone is the, the brain that allows it to coordinate and uh, be totally responsive. So the car is kind of handling steering around the track itself, but I, I feel yeah, like I can. Yeah, so if you, don't, if you don't do anything, the car will still stay um, on the road. OK. Um, but you control your speed. You control your lane. So how much does the whole kit cost? So it's $199 for a base set, which includes the mat, the, um, the two cars. We also have, um, they come with display cases that also function as the charger. And there are a couple other accessories as well, such as a, a tire cleaner, which helps you get really good traction. So you mentioned that as you get better, the, the AI can get better. Is, how are you actually getting better? Can you make your car faster? Can you add new yeah, weapons? Yeah, so one of the things I'll, I'll show you in a bit is that as you play the game, you earn upgrade points that okay. you can then use to evolve your car. You can put different um, weapons, different abilities. And when the AI takes control of that car, it's able to take advantage of all the things that that you put on that car as well. How long have you guys been working on this? So this started really as a, a nights and weekends project um, when um, Hans and I, and uh, Hans Boris and I, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> we were uh, doing our PhDs in robotics at Carnegie Mellon the Robotics Institute. And uh, a lot of the base technology that went into this started about six years ago. And then um, we raised uh, a round of venture capital about a year and a half ago from Andreessen Horowitz, okay. and then uh, most recently from Index Ventures. We raised just under $50 million total. Okay. One of the great things is that because uh, a lot of what we do is in software, we can constantly introduce new game modes, new gameplay types, um, new items, new weapons and abilities. So what you buy on the first day is very different than what um, you'll be able to do you know, two months from now or three months from now. So as you upgrade your car, are those stats? Oh, are they, wow. Okay. Uh, we lose. I got so three the, points. <laughs> the AI car is doing a little victory lap. <laughs> I've played, played it three times so far, and he's beaten me every time. And that was on medium. <laughs> oh, jeez. OK, so as you play the game, you earn points that you can then use to upgrade your car and give it different types of weapons, different types of abilities. So why don't I go into the garage here, and I'll show you how that works. So we turn the car on, and then I'll go into the garage. And one of the first things I'll do is I'll hold the car near the phone. And you see that the phone was able to detect using um, proximity um, that the car was nearby. So we see our car. So it uses Bluetooth low energy, which is allow allows us to read the signal strength. And signal strength is roughly correlated with distance. And that um, is what en enables us to uh, determine the, the, the car is being held nearby. Okay, so we'll tap and connect to the car. And then in here, you'll see that we have uh, 1,000 upgrade points, which is just the, the amount that we need to put an upgrade onto the car. So we can look at the skill tree, and you can see all the different things that we can do with this car. So we can put a, you can choose between a supercapacitor or uh, hardened armor, and that, that helps you um, 
you know, sustain against damage and things like that. So we have 1,000 upgrade points, and that's enough for us to put an upgrade on the car. So we'll hit upgrade here. We have just enough points to the supercapacitor, so we'll hit that. And what will happen is this upgrade will get uh, permanently written into the car so that if you trade a car with a friend or you sell a car to someone else, that upgrade lives with the car forever. And that way, when they play their car, they'll have that ability as well. So do that. And you see now that energy, that little blue extra, that's the extra energy that we added. And we can see the different items and capabilities that we have. So we have the supercapacitor, and we used all of our upgrade points. So uh, we'll have to play again.